We'll gather them all together and it'll be great. It'll be grand. Everything will be wonderful. There's a bean thing here that I missed. And there's a bean thing we're Bob over here. Yeah, the first one is a trip. I am glad that I got it first because it didn't seem like I need it to get the bottom left one, I don't think, but uh, this bottom one, I definitely need it for. Or am I losing my mind? Did I need it for the bottom left one as well? Is this like a multi-bean thing? What is this? Chuckle beans full? Oh, that's what it, I just need to use some of these then. How do I use them? Blend this bean at Star Beans Cafe. I have 99 of them? There's no way I got 99 from just these, like, thing or bobs there. There must have been, like, other places that I got them from, right? That doesn't add up to 99, does it? I don't think so at face value, but I could just be crazy. Huh. So... That's the castle there. Make tea with them. Wait, this was the castle here. What is that then? Should I go down to the castle? Because I think the, uh, that would be like the main hub, right? Basically. Oh, okay. Neat. It's good that that's open now. So, nice. So, probably somewhere this way. Let's see if I can make a thing. No, I almost ran into you. I did run into you. Gosh darn it. I... I'll jump, because I'll probably just take you out easy peasy. Yeah, lots of damage there. No problemo. Let's use the hand! Wait, think about the hand. Don't I have, like, some other gear? Don't I? Maybe? <laughs> Too bad I'm allergic to other gear. That really sucks. It's a really bad thing to be allergic to. Critical hits and lucky hits. Interesting. School slacks. Where are these to always attack after Mario? Oh, interesting. What's the one turn recover thing that I have right now? Um, immediately recover after any status effect. Eh, sure. It has the after Mario effect. So his speed being up higher wouldn't matter too much in this con wakes. The context, I can't words today. This is the way to the university, so, or the Hooniversary. So this way is the way to the castle. So it was this other thing then. Is what it must have been in that case, right? Must have been the case. So if I go up over this away, use a hand that, yeah, that's a, you know, Luigi and his thunder hand. All right, so is there a cafe somewhere around here where I can cook up the thing remote? This is just someone's random house. For some reason, my grandpa's been saying really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's just his age, but he's so loud there's no ignoring him. Say, have you heard about the cool new things called non-fungible tokens? Grandpa, that's a dead meme to make fun of by now. It's the next big thing. You can't, you can't dissuade me. Oh, do I have new records now? Um, huh, welcome! Come on, show me your records! Okay, so there is somewhere around here then. Wow, you battle a hundred times! Hmm, you have had 200 foes! Ah, huh, you've run away 10 times! Wow, you found 50% of the blocks! Oh, that's quite a story you're cooking up! Thanks, friend, and here's your reward! Come on, take it, it's all yours! Got three ultra mushrooms, cool, thanks! I got quick collector. Got 30 boo biscuits. My grandma made them. You can have them. Receive a new recording. Listen to it in the music player. Spin me a good yarn when next we meet. So. I got another thing more, Bob. Earn more items by winning battles quickly. Cool. Let's slap it on. Why ever not? Heck yeah. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Oh <laughs> Wow. You used the hand 24 times. Yeah. I'm shop. You can have anything you want. Is there things that I particularly need? What is the the number there is the cost? Oh, there's the number health. I see where it lists that. Um, give me a few of these for funsies. 
interesting specific cost. I guess because it like scales off of, like the stash and whatnot. Sure, let's get a few of the nuts. Sure. I don't think I have anything that I really want to sell right now. Yeah, I'm okay, okay there. Cool. Um, supposedly the shop in Little Fungi Town has lots of products that we don't carry here. Well, I will keep that in mind. In case I'm ever shopping for some thingmer bobs. Alright, so that's the gear shop over there. Um, this is wait, are these invisible blocks? What were those outlines? Oh! Who beans? Who beans? Interesting. So where can I uh brew something up, huh? What are these? Uh, those are the guide thing where Bob's. That's what those are. Hmm. How about over in here? Um, there once in a while I get the urge to nap under a roof that I'll rent myself a room. But even then, they're rarely big enough for me. Was it that big building on the right side, I wonder? Is this... Oh, no, it's probably this then. Is that Professor E. Gad? Hey, there's a famous Starbeats cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints? Compliments? Did the what came out first, Superstar Saga or uh, or Luigi's Mansion? Was this was that Professor E. Gad symbol there just put in like with the remake? I wonder. Now you already know about our special Star B system, right? <laughs> See ya. No. Right. -o. Doesn't look good as I explain it to you. See, you can redeem your cryptocurrencies for these things called non-fungible tokens. Uh, a Star Bee system was created by Star Beans Cafe to expand our menu when you bring us beans. Here's the deal. Get rare beans by digging or battling or playing mini games and bring them here. When you bring us new kinds of beans, we add them to our menu and nefariously patent them. <laughs> by the way, at the moment, I'm needing these beans and these quantities to expand my menu. Woo blend 10 woo beans. Woo blend 10 who beans. Chuckle blend, 10 chuckle beans, tee he blend, 10 he beans. Humblarian, 6 woo beans, plus 4 who beans. So, what? These sound like the kind of teas that you would find in a Dr. Seuss novel. Tea espresso, what the heck? More my menu expands, more customers are coming in to partake of my wonderful bean juice. Are you enjoying our star bee system? Sure. Right now, show me the beans you've collected. Okay, yeah, I have 99 of those uh, ones there. Okay, so Luigi's Badge came first. Was there the Professor Egad symbol? I like this background here. Gonna head to bed, my dear. Good night. Get some good rest. Will do. I appreciate you stopping by hanging out, Anima. I hope you have an awesome rest of the night. So I gotta expend some of these. How do I have none of the yellow ones? You're right by the time you push a button. <laughs> Look at that thing there. Sure, let's brew it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this just like a permanent buff, I wonder? For like the beans you got? Chuckle blend. Um, whoa, a power outage? Oh, the Luigi's Mansion theme. What? <laughs> Luigi can't even escape when he's in a different game. Oh man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Looks like the aroma of your new drink has drawn out all the ghosts in the place. <laughs> it shows the heart. Ah, I was wondering who it could be. If it isn't the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor Egad. Welcome to my Star Beans Cafe. Seeing you two, this is a most unexpected chance meeting. Hey, you guys know the owner? That blending machine is our owner's latest invention. <laughs> cha -cha -cha -cha. Hmm. The rich aromatic fragrance of that drink. I sense that it's a drink that even I haven't partaken of. Hey, may I have a drink? Just a quick fix. Please, it's all I need. I've been awake for 30 hours. Hmm. That delicately bitter flavor. The one that makes me crave more. This stuff gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension. Thanks for that sampling. There's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the greed wallet? Well, I hope you will continue to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to have friends partake of my fine of the fine flavors produced by my bean bean machine. What does the greed wallet do? It doesn't say what it does. Can I check like key items? What's the greed wallet? Chuckle blend? 
Ah, but you can only use it on one. Interesting. Huh. She gives out hold on some. So little cameos here for bring the various teas. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what the greed wallet is, so I'm looking it up. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Greed Wallet. Does it just mean that I get like more coins from here on? Let's see here. Oh, it's an equipable accessory. Let's see here. In the remake, it adds 25% to the coin total from defeating enemies. Wait, let's see here. So in the original, it doubles the coins the brothers obtain when they defeat enemies in battle. In the remake, it adds 25% to the coin total from defeating enemies. So they nerfed it by a lot in the remake in that case. More items by winning battles quickly. And then, uh... Sure. So it's a 25% increase as opposed to a 100% increase from the original. Wow. What a nerf. What an insane nerf. Holy crap. The famous Star Beans Cafe. Yeah, I know about it. Show me your beans. Okay, so I can already, uh... So I can make more of these. But... Huh. But it shows me the symbol that says I've already done it once before. So that must mean that you can get, like, infinite of these beans, right? Maybe with enough grinding? Stas is strong here with the you doing? Dude, I'm doing pretty well, sir. How's it going over there? Yeah, and it's, a. Uh, it's good to have a good stash in the Mario and Luigi games, because the better your stash stat is in these games, the better the store discounts you get, interestingly enough. If only it worked like that in real life, or the better stash you had, the, uh, the better discounts you got. If only. If only the real world works by Mario and Luigi rules, right? Let's try the hoo hoo at blend, because it's the only... Because it's the only other one that I can make. That looks like a lot more than 10 beans. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's brew that up. There we go. Cool. Let's see here. You got hoo hoo blend! <laughs> oh, mercy! Yet another fragrantly rich aroma. Ah, oh, Professor Gad! We just now added this new drink to our menu. What great timing on your part. It's not timing that brought me here. No siree. The scent of that new drink drew me in. Yep, from over the hills and across the sea. I came walking and walked across the sea. Ah, that's some nose you've got. Now then, might I have a quick sampling of this new drink? Here you go, Professor. I must let it keep me up another 48 hours. How does it taste? Delicious! This may be the next big drink. You've brewed well. Thanks for that sampling. There's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the bonus ring? What is that? Hmm. Is he getting sick? All of a sudden, I have a bad tummy ache. Perhaps this drink I just drank is the cause of this ache. For the proof that every rose has its thorn. Maybe you just drank too much? Oh, um, no. Oh, where's the restroom? Boss, you never built any toilets in this place. What? <laughs> no. Uh, that's my bolter comes to 3,000. Luigi, you plenty on being the janitor around here. What? Dude, what? What? Oh, okay, we just murdered the professor. I guess, or something. Yeah, we, I don't know what the bonus ring is, but... Let's find out. Let's see here. Uh, win without being hit for an EXP bonus. That sounds nice, but if I'm only getting it on one of the two bros, I want to keep their levels relatively even. I'm gonna leave it normally. Originally, Samus was supposed to have a cameo here. Oh, but they uh decide against it or something like that. Yeah, I'll pass on the bonus ring. If I had two bonus rings, I'd totally give it to both bros, but I don't have two bonus rings, so I have to pass on that. So I still have like 89 of the freaking red beans though. Do, wait, do I really need to, uh... Do I really need to hold on to a lot for these other things? Because it's just this one with the four there. Also, Cernal coming out of nowhere with a 15-month resub with Prime there. 1.5 years, that's far watching yeah, it. That's crazy. I appreciate the 1.5 years. That's a crazy long time right there. I know you can only use the Prime sub in one place each month, so I appreciate using it here for 15 months. Absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy mad lad. I appreciate the 15 month resub there. Enjoy another month of the emotes and sub mad. Welcome back to Team Man Harmonic and all that wacky stuff that I say and whatnot. Wow, 1.5 years thus far <laughs> watching Yoth, that's crazy. 
The Texas speech bot certainly has an interesting way of putting things sometimes. Where is a pipe that I can take? I need a warp out. Try head out. Where is a? Ooh. I swear, I just keep getting the chuckle beans from these. So like, what other kinds of things can I get? I wonder. Or like, where do I get the other things? Where's a pipe? There's one all the way over there. There's one down here. Oh, okay, that was pretty cool. So let's, let's go to that one. That's what we'll go ahead and do. No, you stay away from me, you absolute maniac. Like, social distance, please. Don't you dare. Thought I accidentally stomped on you for a hot second. All right, yeah, we may as well get like the last bean thing we're about. I wish it showed it like on the map there. Kind of sucks that it doesn't. So it's like right up there. Is the thing, it seems like. So, is that closest to five? Bean Bean Castle Town. Gosh darn it, there was a pipe there. I just didn't realize it. <laughs> Gosh darn it, it was in here. <laughs> Wait, I can definitely say if you've never played this Mario game. Have you ever played any of the Mario and Luigi games? Would that be the next question? Also, is it just me or is your name color like changing every single time? Is that just my chat window here or is it in general? I am, uh, I am confused. Okay, it is. Trying to uh, use the uh, the art of confusion out here. Inflict a confusion spell on me. So it's like somewhere just up here is the thing. Yeah, trying to find the perfect color. Has to be just right. But yeah, have you ever played any of the uh, Mario and Luigi games? Played a couple, but not this one. Gotcha, gotcha then. I mean, did you ever play the original Superstar Saga? Because this is a remake of a... Uh, of the very first Mario and Luigi game from the Game Boy Advance. It's the 3DS remake is a thing. I didn't actually mean to stomp you. So this is a remake of the very first one. I jumped way too early. Okay, you've played the original. So you basically have played this game in that case. Basically played this game, but not this game in a way. <laughs> if that's the case. Wow, I'm getting so many lucky hits. Holy crap. Super Mushroom Sweet. You are such a weirdo. You are so weird. Yeah, definitely a decent bit different looking here. Have you ever played any of the uh, 3DS ones by chance? Because this was generally the art style of the 3DS ones. It's funny, there's five games in this series and four of them are on the 3DS because there was the first one on the Game Boy Advance. Oh my good gracious. Um, and then two and three on the Nintendo DS and then four and five on the 3DS. So there's already two on the 3DS. But then the first one and the third one got 3DS remakes. They skipped the second one of Partners in Time because, you know, this game released in 2017 after the Switch had already come out and been out for like a little while. And then the Bowser's Inside Story remake came out in 2019 after the Switch had already been out for two years. So they were like, okay, we're probably not going to take another two years, like, you know, doing all three of them. So you probably have to choose between Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story. So I'm honestly glad that they chose Bowser's Inside Story because yeah, it probably wasn't gonna be that realistic for them to, you know, remaster all of them on the 3DS. So yeah, these are, uh, so the first one and the third one got 3DS uh, remakes and it's just in the art style of the 3DS ones. But yeah, um, you know you play Bowser Inside Story, it's coming back to you now, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, there's a, but the original Bowser Inside Story or the 3DS one, because the 3DS one was just, oh, I can go this way now. It was just a couple of years ago that it came out. I was like, or a few years ago, my goodness, time flies. Because it was 2019, original. I've heard that the- I mean, I even know from like my own accounts of playing both that like both have their ups and downs. Definitely not 3DS. Both definitely have their ups and downs when it comes to- comes to that. There were some things that were like nerfed or changed. How did that happen? You guys are no slouches. And some additional things they added. For both the remake of Superstar Saga and uh, Bowser's Inside Story, one of the big things that they added is like a whole nother like mini story and gameplay thing, Bob, that we'll do after we're done with the main story. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen called a Minion Quest. So this is called Bowser's Inside Story plus, or Bowser's Inside Story, uh, Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. And it includes this other like mini side adventure game thing, Bob. That's all about like tactically bringing in the right units to counterplay the opponents that you're going up against. It's weird. Um, and then, uh, and then Bowser's Inside Story came out on the 3DS, which was Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. And I've played that already, and the gameplay of it is kind of weird. That side thing, Bob. 
but Yoshi Theater. But the story was really cute of Bowser Jr.'s journey, and, uh, and the music was really spot on, and it had some freaking laugh out loud moments, honestly. <laughs> the uh, Bowser Jr. story. Never thought I'd play a game where uh, Bowser Jr. is the main character, but that was one, and I actually had a blast with the story, at least. The gameplay was kind of eh, but <laughs> the story was really fun. Wow, Yoshi faces everywhere! So, I don't know what, uh, what Bowser's minions here, or Bowser minions, well, minion quest, well, whatever. It's Super Star Saga plus Bowser's minions, but it's minions quest, whatever, same thing. Once the sign is finished, Yoshi's theater will be complete. Oh, I can't wait. Once the theater is done, the wall by the door will be so sparkly. I bet it will. So, so yeah, we'll see what minion quest here is all about. The movie theater is now finally near completion. I say this place was built for Yoshis by a great Yoshi enthusiast. Well, you certainly hear of Yoshis here at BB. Most people have never seen them. This could be all the rage. Also, when it comes to these being 3DS remakes, it is worth noting that I am playing this with like better than native graphics as a thing. I have to commend you that you end up finishing games that you are even having fun with, or I mean, at least that you push through if your interest wanes. You have issues there. Luckily, this isn't one of those. I'm having a lot of fun with it. You probably mean like in terms of uh, the gameplay of uh, Bowser Jr.'s journey there. I mean, I was having enough fun with the story alone to be able to get through that. But there are definitely some games that I haven't really enjoyed that I'll that I've gone through to the end of. The biggest case probably being, and I know that there are those that are going to like hate me for saying this, but the biggest case was Okami. My goodness, that game just dragged on and I was playing the Switch version and the brush did not work well at all. And it was so painful. And people kept telling me like, oh, Okami is a freaking masterpiece. It's one of those games that everyone has to experience. And I played it and I was like, yeah, the music is great, but everything else is like, Ugh, why? Anyway, also I am playing this in better than native graphics, so the original 3DS game looks like this. Is what the original 3DS graphics look like. Is the thing. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and slap this into, uh, three times native is what we do like that. Way more detail.